Namaste all of you. Welcome again. Let us see the 14th question. In the given figure ABCD, ABCD is a parallelogram and E is the midpoint of AD. A line through D drawn parallel to EB meet AB produced at F and uh, BC at L. Okay. Uh, prove that AF is equals to we have to prove that AF is equals to 2 times DC and uh, second we have to prove that DF DF is equals to 2 times D. Okay. So let us draw the diagram. So here AF is equals to we have to prove 2 DC and we have to prove that this DF this is first part and second part we have to prove that DF is equals to 2 times dA. So, what we can do to prove it? Let us take the triangle AFD. So, in proof, I will say in triangle AFD and triangle AFD, E is midpoint of AD and BE is parallel to DF. BE is parallel to DF. So therefore, by midpoint theorem, midpoint theorem, I have this BE. Uh, uh, this is not midpoint theorem, this is by converse of midpoint theorem. So, by I will move a little here by converse of midpoint theorem, we have BE equal to half of df half of df right okay this we will consider equation 1 by converse we got this this is equation 1 i will just shift this diagram little down so that every time we need not have to go up. okay now this be is equals to half of this df. Now I will consider n quadrilateral b l d e n quadrilateral b l d e. Now in this quadrilateral b e is parallel to dl. This is given, right? And uh, DE parallel to BL. This is also given, or you can say that since ABCD is parallelogram, ABCD is parallelogram, right? So, therefore, this BLDE is. <coughs> <coughs> is a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel. Now, as opposite sides are parallel, we can say that this BE, therefore BE is equals to DL. This I will say second equation. Now, BE is equals to DL. So, in place of BE, I will put DL in equation so therefore i will say from 1 and 2 this uh, dl is half of df or we can say that df is twice now what we have to prove df is twice of dl so therefore df is twice of dl this one part I have proved 
that this dl is twice of this df. Now I have to prove that this bc or this bf is um, af af actually af we have to prove that it is twice of this dc. Okay. Now we have proved that dl is equals to half of half of um, by midpoint theorem we have proved okay by midpoint theorem i can also prove that this point b a is the b is the midpoint of this af right we have proved that this is parallel to this so this is going to be half is the midpoint and we have drawn a parallel so it is going to be half Mm, no, not exactly. I am doing some mistake, I think. By converse of midpoint theorem, midpoint theorem is that ki if I join midpoints of two sides, okay, then it is equals to half. Okay, and uh, converse of midpoint is that the third side, third side uh, is divided at midpoint by converse of midpoint. So from here, okay, I have to change little bit. So let us move this down somewhere by converse of midpoint theorem but i can say that by converse of midpoint theorem b is midpoint of af we have taken triangle afd afd okay so b is the midpoint of af so therefore AB, therefore, you can say that this AB is equals to half of AF. AB is half of AF, therefore, now as AB is half of AF, I can replace DC in place of AB, therefore, DC is equals to half of AF. Reason I will say that DC is equals to AB because this ABCD is a parallelogram, right? So, the first part we have done, we have to prove that DC is twice of AF, okay, so therefore AF is twice of DC, okay, so therefore I will say that therefore AF is twice of DC, AF is twice of DC, so this is our first part we have proved. Now, this um, as DC is half of AB, we will give this as equation 1, maybe we will use it somehow. So, I will say this is equation 1. Now this BF, AB and BF, AF is what? AF is AB plus BF. So, in place of AB, I can say DC or AB. Okay, so this I will say that this is DC. AB is equals to DC, okay, we know, and this AF is 2DC, and here we have plus BF from 1, therefore BF is equals to, or DC is equals to BF, okay, this is second. So we proved that this BF part and then this DC part they are equal in length. Now that will help me to prove that this or, 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 or else actually it is not required to prove, right? I can prove that this df is 
price of this TL by taking these two triangles and proving that they are congruent. Okay, that is one method. A second method, what I have done is perfectly all right. Now, what I have done that uh, now I will again take triangle A AFD. Now, in triangle AFD, E and B are the midpoints. Therefore, by midpoint theorem, okay, so I will now take in triangle in triangle AFD E and B are midpoints of E and B are the midpoints of AD and AF. Therefore, by midpoint theorem, I will say that this BE is half of DF. Now, after that, it is perfectly all right. Only this equation I will take as equation 2 and then this as 3 and from 2 and 3. So, this is equation 2, this is equation 3 and this is from 2 and 3. The second part is also done. Okay. Quite difficult. 14th question. 3 marks question. Now, 15th question. D, E, F are respectively the midpoints of the side A, B, B, C and C respectively of the triangle A, B, C. Prove that the joining of the midpoint D, E, F of the triangle A, B, C divide it into 4 congruent triangle. A, B, B, C and C. Okay. D, E, F. Fine. So, again, in the 16th question, this is our question number 16. We will take triangle A, B, C and then D, E, F. Now, we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 triangles are there and we have to prove that all these four triangles are congruent. Prove that the line joining um, question number 15. DF are respectively the midpoints of side AB, BC, CA of triangle ABC. Prove that the joining of midpoint divide it into four congruent triangles. Right. We have to prove that we are getting four congruent triangles. So, are they exactly identical? Now, as this D, E, D, F, D, E, D and E, they are the midpoints. So, by midpoint theorem, what will happen? That this side D, E, okay, this side D, E is going to be half of this A, C. And as F is the midpoint, I will say that this part is equal to this part is equal to this part. Okay, so these three parts are equal. Now, in the same way, you can prove that this side is equal to this part and this part. Very good. And third, we will be able to prove that this side is half of this BC. So, it will be equal to this part as well as this part. Now, if I take triangle ADF and this, I take this ADF and then this D, B, E. In these two triangles, I can say that by side, 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 these two triangles are congruent. Then I will take this triangle and this triangle let us take. I will again by side, side, side will prove that these two triangles are congruent. Then I will take this triangle ADX and I will take triangle this. Okay. And by side, 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 I will prove that they are congruent. So, I will get three equations in which this is congruent to this. The first triangle is congruent to this second triangle. This first triangle is congruent to this third triangle. And then this first triangle is congruent to this fourth triangle. So, therefore, from 1 to n3, 
1, 2, 3 and 4 are the congruent triangles. Have you understood what I discussed? Okay, so I am not writing. The writing part you do, it is little lengthy, but you understand how you can prove that these four triangles are congruent triangles. Yes, fine. Okay. Now, next, 15th question. D, E and F respectively are the midpoints of A, B, B, C and C respectively. Uh, okay, this 15th we have done, no? Okay, 15th. This was 15th problem, not 16th. 15th, okay. Now, let us see the 16th question. 16th question, if A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral in which A, B parallel to C, D, A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral in which A, B is parallel to C, D and A, D is equal to B, C, A, D is equal to B, C, then prove that angle A is equal to angle B. Okay. So this is isosceles trapezium again isosceles trapezium right only one pair of side is given parallel so don't assume that the second pair is also parallel otherwise you will not get the required answer the diagram will be something like this okay a b c d okay so what is given that a b parallel to c d and AD is equal to BC. This is good. And you have to prove that this angle A and this angle B is equal. So for that, what you can do? You can extend this side. Isosceles trapezium, you know how to prove. You extend this side and draw a line from B parallel to AD. So just do this construction. Okay, and uh, say this is point E. Now this A, B, E, D is a parallelogram as these two sides are parallel, these two sides are parallel. Okay, so opposite angles are equal. So this angle and this angle is going to be equal. Vertically opposite angle of parallelogram. Then this angle means if I take this angle as X, so this angle will also be X. Okay. Then this side AD and this side BE, they will be opposite sides, so they will be equal in length. Also AD and BC is given equal. So therefore, if you see triangle BEC, in these two triangles, these two sides are equal. So their opposite angles are going to be equal. So opposite angle of side this BC is angle E, which is we marked as X. So for BE, the opposite angle C also be marked as x. Now this DC is parallel to AB. So this angle ECB and angle ABC they are vertically uh, sorry they are alternate angles formed by two parallel lines. Okay. So now if you see this angle A and this angle B both are xx. So done. We have proved that the base angles are equal when one pair of opposite side is given parallel and other pair is given equal. Right. So for this, uh, you should avoid the condition of a parallelogram. If you take a parallelogram, then your base angle may or may not be equal. Seventeenth question is prove that the line joining the midpoints of the diagonal of trapezium is parallel to the parallel sides of trapezium. Prove that the line joining the midpoints of diagonals of trapezium is parallel to the parallel sides of the trapezium. Okay, 17th question. The problem is prove that the line joining the midpoints of diagonals of trapezium is parallel to parallel sides of trapezium. So I will first draw one trapezium.
something like this okay now i have two diagrams um better i will not uh, draw a diagram like this okay i will take a trapezium something like this so this is my smaller diagonal and then this is my longer diagonal here i have to take the midpoints of diagonal therefore now the midpoint of this diagonal will be somewhere here and midpoint of this diagonal will be somewhere here i will join them let us name it as a b c d and this point as e and this point as f and let us take this point as o okay now i have to prove that this e f is parallel to a b and this e f is parallel to d c this we have to prove so what we do big question what we do e and f are the midpoints I am finding myself uh, clueless in this particular problem. What we should do? Okay, so uh, in comment, let me know how you think that we can solve this problem. Okay, so try this problem, and uh, I will see you in the next class with few more problems. And if possible, we will discuss this problem also there. Thank you.